In tonight's main event, Nigeria's Hino Ahikamanor and Canada's Troy Ross face off in a 10-round battle to become the contender champion. Entering the contender tournament at Virtual Unknown, Hino Ahikamanor quickly gained attention with his flashy moves and his slick style. God put me on this earth to be a fighter. Nobody's gonna stop me. In his first fight of the tournament, Hino fought knockout artist Darnell the Dingaling Man Wilson. Entertaining the crowd with a showy performance, he used his speed to outshine Darnell and emerge with the win. Beating Darnell Wilson, one of the most feared knockout artists, it just put me on a whole, whole different level, man. In his second fight against the undefeated Dion Elon, Hino imposed his will while upping his showmanship, handed Dion his first loss, and advanced to the semifinals. I'm here, baby. It's his eye, Hollywood. Even with his confidence soaring, Hino was still the underdog in the semifinal against Rico Hoy. But using his speed and agility, he delivered a strong performance and defeated the veteran fighter and won a spot in the contender finals. Fighting Hino for the championship is Troy Ross, a top-ranked Canadian fighter, a two-time former Olympian. I came here with a dream in my mind, to become the contender champion. Troy made a strong showing early on in the tournament. Take it easy, Troy. It's starting to scare me and I'm on your team. Challenging decorated fighter Lawrence Tuaza in his first fight. Troy stopped Lawrence with a deadly right hook in the second round and brought home an impressive TKO victory. Everyone is going to be looking at me and saying, that guy has power. Watch out for his right hook. In the second round, Troy impressed once again in his fight against the strong-willed Felix Cora Jr. Using his power and speed, Troy surprised Felix with a left hand. Knocking Felix out, it handed Troy his second straight win. Facing A.K. Laleye in the semifinal, Troy exerted his dominance over the smaller fighter. Using his size and speed, Troy outboxed A.K. to win a unanimous decision and move on to fight for the contender title. Tonight, a new contender champion will be crowned. It's Troy Ross versus Hino Ahikamanor, who will be the contender. All right, let's take a look at the vitals in this 10-round final of the contender tonight. You see a Hickamanor, 28, Troy Ross, five years older at 33. The height, negligible, a half an inch for Troy Ross. The weight, two pounds, nothing there. Reach dead on, dead even fight. Now we'll get a look at the unified rules. You know what they are, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count, no referee stopping the fight, no saving by the bell in any round. They're going 10 or less here tonight in our contender final showdown. I find myself on the edge of my <laughs> seat, guys. You know, Tommy Kaczmarek just walked by. One yeah. of the great judges, the guy's been around boxing forever. He says to me, what a great show. Oh, that's How really about that? That's nice to hear. How about that? I, that's I, great I, indeed. I hope whenever, wherever you picked up this series on versus watching, you, you know, you have a personal stake in it. I know how you feel, Tony. You know these guys so well. You just talked to Troy. Again, we've talked, this is his rejuvenation, the contender. He's been a disappointment as a pro. A lot was expected of him coming out of the Olympics. If he can win it all, well, big fight on American TV, this is what he's waiting but for. But you're waiting, listen, he talks about it all the time. He he, he says it's, it's, it's he hasn't been able to get fights. People don't want to fight him. And, and when he has, he hasn't been ready. You know, it's the rigmarole of boxing there when you you're go. at this level. And well, he's trying to break out, this is his chance. Wally, one of the reasons nobody wants to fight him is that southpaw issue, right? Who wants to fight a lefty? That's, with, that's with, so silly, but I know that it's, you know, it's and a with power, thing. Though. And it's with a, power, though. Well, who wants to fight anybody with power? It's the way it goes, you know? He's a good fighter, and he's got to prove tonight that he belongs among the top cruiserweights in the world. As John Bray just came in, one of the trainers from the, uh, from the contender. Man. Didn't have too good. Started out real good, but then, you know, had a rough time, so. Oh, boy, this guy is wound up. You yeah. know, a heck of a door. You got to punch up Flem. A heck of a door. <laughs> a heck of a door. <laughs> Tony, I know you were practicing that in the room before. <laughs> yeah. The only thing, you left your tuxedo in the taxi. I know, in the I taxi, I you left the tuxedo. it. Nobody told me that. I'm so underdressed. You don't need it. You pull How it off. How great is it to see Sugar Ray Leonard over there, too? The great six-time world champion. Oh, Mike. he's a pleasure. I think he remembered his tuxedo, didn't he? Yeah, well, he's got a side. Guys do. 
Ino Hekamanor, 28 years old, born in Nigeria, moved to Northern New York City at 13. He didn't start boxing until 16, won a New Jersey Golden Gloves 10 years ago. He's a five-year pro, so he didn't get into the pros right away. But he's riding that wave of confidence. He told me, Nick, he told me he was just about done with boxing. And then I guess Lou DiBella called him and said, hey, they're going to do cruiserweights. And he got back in shape, his trainer got him. And like I said, he was broke. And, you know, some of these guys, what's interesting is some of these guys have two jobs to support their boxing career. I mean, that's how crazy it is. So uh, it's yeah, a very that's tough the kind of game. People it talk is. about tough economy. The boxers are up against it as well. All right, they're in the ring now. We will, they'll start throwing leather. Punches are going to fly right after this. Stay with us. We're back at the MGM Grand Arena in Foxwoods, Connecticut. Delighted you could be with us for the finals of this contender series. Nick Charles, Wally Matthews, Tony Danza, edge of the seat time, oh fellas. My goodness. Yeah. And in attendance among this packed house, Sugar Ray Leonard, the immortal. Known him, what, 30, <laughs> over 30 years? Yeah. That is one. And it's one bad dude, let me tell you. Oh, boy. <laughs> a lot better than he looks, right? Oh, he's so sweet looking, but man. <laughs> you can score the fight at home. We invite you to do it. We love seeing how you had it. Here we go. Here's the setup story. We'll meet both guys now. From the MGM Grand Theater here at Foxwoods Resort Casino, here in Mashantucket, Connecticut, the contender proudly presents your main event of the evening. 10 rounds of boxing for the Contender Season 4 Championship. This bout is sanctioned by the Mashantucket Pequot Athletic Commission. Chairman, George Henningsen. Vice Chairman, Ken Reels. Athletic Director, Peter Timothy. Ringside positions are Dr. Michael Schwartz, Dr. Anthony Alessi, and Dr. Michael Rajkumar. Your timekeeper for this bout is fabulous Phyllis Roy. And your scorekeeper is the lovely Kim Johnston. Your three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system are from Connecticut, Glenn Feldman, from New Jersey, Tom Kesmarek, and from Rhode Island, Dr. Clark San Martino. And your referee in charge of the action once the bell rings is Steve Double S. Smoger. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, trim with white. His weight this evening, a solid 194 pounds. His outstanding record reads, 20 victories, only one defeat, with 14 big wins coming by way of NACA. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, he is a former Canadian and Commonwealth Cruiserweight Champion, Troy the Bar. Fighting out of the red corner to my right. Wearing black with red trim, he weighs in a solid 192 pounds. His outstanding record reads, 15 victories with only three defeats and seven big wins coming by way of Nako. Originally from Nigeria, now calling home Queens, New York. Please welcome Hollywood Hino, a Hinaman, a Hikamano. Ten rounds, cruiserweights. Referee Steve Double S. Smoker with final ring instructions. Gentlemen, you were given your instructions in your dressing room. Please obey my command, respect the bell, and above all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. God bless you both. Ah, uh, we're ready to go. Tony, you've been waiting, you've been waiting, you've been on halfway on the other side you. of the world, here it is. I can't believe it, I mean it. I, this has been a long journey, and I'll be honest with you, I don't want to see anybody lose, but I'm looking forward to a great fight here, I really am. The contender finals. So a, a draw wouldn't bother you. It here. wouldn't bother me at all. By the way, this is like the battle of the eight packs. Watch out, buddies. Oh, they're in great shape. All right, Hino is uh, with the red piping and in the black and white. Is Troy Ross, the Canadian, the left-hander who has shown power in both hands. And he is on the jab early, and he knows trying to set up. And Wally, you hit on a really key point at the top of the show. 
And I'm talking to my spies in New York, uh, my buddy Steve Farhood, who has done a lot of Eno's early fights, and he said that fight against the Southpaw, he didn't know what to do. Huh. Well, you know what? He said he's been sparring exclusively with Southpaw since he left Singapore. It's been six weeks or so. He should, if he hasn't got it down by now, it ain't going to happen in the fight. Uh, I think, I, listen, I, it's certainly a factor. There's no doubt about it, but I'm not sure it's going to be that much of a factor. These are two determined guys. What do you know? He knows up for it, I know. Well, he, he knows just got an, an awkward style. It's like he's laying back for that big right hand, huh? Which is why, well, you know There what? it was. He and tried to land it just <laughs> there. Troy Ross knew that. He told us that yesterday. He said he's going to sit back on his right foot and try to hit me with his right hand. You know, we're ready for it. But it makes him very difficult to hit with a jab. Yeah, he came back and whipped a uh, right to the body of Ross. Ross a little off balance yeah, there. No, no. Crowd got excited, step. but they just got tangled lefty-righty. That will happen. He did get hit with a good body shot, though, right before. He did, but I like the way Ross is on that jab. He's sticking on that jab. I don't think he's landed one yet, though. Because well, of I mean, that lean-back style. Yeah. You know, I think he's afraid of that right hand. A little, maybe too afraid. Yeah. He knows that's what's being set up. Oh, that was almost an L forearm shot, but he shortened up Ross and clipped Hino with that you left. You can see how tense. They're both very tight. They're both very Absolutely. tight. Absolutely. Not letting their hands just go freely yet. Boy, you could get caught that way, too. No, I'm not kidding. You know, I'll tell you, when I was there watching the fights in uh, I always hope they get through the first round. Yeah, yeah. That would be so, you know, they're going for it. Guys are throwing haymakers. Well, the work rate's really good for cruiserweights here. I know not, lot of, not a lot of land so far, but guys, both guys punching. Follow-up left hand from Ross. So he was in first and he was in last, and that landed. Nothing real serious, though. But bad intentions. Yeah. <laughs> this is a tight round, Tony. That's why I'm glad you're scoring it. Oh, I'm not scoring it, is it? <laughs> right oh, hand, there right it is. Hand, there it was. Pino lining him up for it. Ross maybe has to while he start a little more lateral movement, not be there for it. Oh, I think Ross right now is just trying to figure out the distance. That's been the real problem here so far, and a lot of it has to do with Hino's lean back style that way. Kind of takes, you know, it adds uh, another couple inches that that jab has to travel. I think Ross has to figure out how close he needs to be. They're hot. Uh, they're, they're tight, but this is a real hot pace here. We're closing out the first back with round two right after this. Bow, bow, bow. Boy, that was really telling in the corner. Both corners want their guy to get on the jab, but Hino again asking just in the last five seconds, you sure you want me to jab? He said, no, no, just stay off the, stay, stay off the corners and out of the ropes. I think that first round's Off a great uh, uh, confidence builder for Hino, though, because he knows he's in against a really tough guy and a real experienced guy, and just getting through that first round makes a big difference. That's a good point. Tony. I thought it was a horrible round to score. Very, very difficult. That's why I'm glad you're scoring it, Walter. Ah, well, let me think about it a while. And I know at home you are as well. We'll be anxious to see. Right hand blasting from Hino. So Hino really trying to land that, but... No, 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 no. Ross Sounds staying good. in the excellent, pocket with excellent. him. There's also a good left hand by Ross. Yeah, he's, he wants to exchange with him a little bit. His corner wanted him to move out, get on the jab, and keep turning. Well, he thinks he's the puncher in this fight. And you know what? The record says he is. And I think it's a mistake because I think he's better off boxing. Listen to this crowd, Tony. <laughs> Nobody wants to box right now. Nobody's boxing now. Oh, good wow, left nice by left hand by Ross. Now they're inside. Now, what? Holding with one hand, but the free hand, he can hit push all you off. want. Push off. And push Steve off. Over the telling him to push no, no, off and break. It. There hadn't been one clinch, has there? What a pace they're setting, too, Nick. You know, Ten know, rounds, Tony, huh? Ten step, rounds, it's a step, consideration. Step. It's a long way to Tipperary, you know. <laughs> see Bob Kenobio over there trying to keep the punch count up. Man, his fingers are pretty busy for cruiserweights. It's astounding. Look at the I work rate. Punch. That was an excellent right. move by Hino. Yeah, but Ross right is all the over him with the left. Hit, don't punch. See him jump step, right back step, in. Step, you know, the step. great mark with the great ones, they hit when they're getting hit. That's what's great about yeah, them. You yeah, know? exactly. So they they punch, punch with when the guys. other guy's punching. Yeah, they punch fire back. Well, that's the great thing. Okay, here we are, round two. We're ringside here, the contender finals. It's all on the line after 11 shows. Whoever wins is the contender champion, the fourth in this series. These are cruiserweights. It's Hino Ahekamanor 
with the red trim and in the white trim is Troy Ross, the Canadian who drives Hino back with the left hand. Makes him rethink and reset. Good move. There's wow. a right hand from uh, Ross. The thing he knows has to don't worry punch, about is his low step left out, hand. Step out, is, uh, step Troy's out, Troy's going to try out, to jab with his right hand and then hook off it. And he's got to watch out for that over the top. You know, I was thinking just a few seconds ago that it looks to me like Ross has gone away from the jab a little bit and the target is right there. I don't know. I think he's worried about getting countered by that right, as you pointed out before. It's looking like he wants to engage Hino. You know, I, th I think the big mistake people make when they box is they're looking for that big shot. they got to build to it, you know. Now it's Hino trying to figure things out. It's uh, 10 seconds to go in the second round. A spirited pace once again here at Foxwoods. It's the contender finals. Ross and Hino in Hecamanor right after this. Thank you. Wow, action there in round three. Now here's what we're talking about. I mean, these two, two guys just wailing away. Not a lot of clean punches, but certainly a lot of punches, a lot of hard punches in that round. I should say the second. Now in the third. There's Hino off that back leg looking to unleash that right hand. And it's Ross trying to close the gap now and just smother him, make him uncomfortable, force him to fight. Let me give you a kind of telling stat from round two, all right? Ross fired blanks with his jab 0 for 11 in round two, and that's got everything to do with the style of Hino. I think it's still important that he throws it, Wally. Oh, no doubt. But he's, you know what? When you're not landing a punch, it makes you very reluctant to throw it. But at least he could be blinding him to what's coming next. He's really well, wants to land that power. I agree with you, Nick, but the thing is when fighters punch, miss punches, punch. they feel like they're step, leaving step, themselves step, in a vulnerable step, 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 position. Step, step. They do not like to throw punches that don't land. Yes. And it makes you a little oh. bit more... Oh, ran into a right it hand. It makes you a little bit more tired, too, when you miss. Yep. Oh, yeah. Now Ross coming back. He's closing the gap. He's inside. Hino on the ropes here. Not spinning on. He's trying to punch his way off. Looking for the uppercuts. Looking for the openings. It's infighting here. This is round three. It's another hot... We have a we have ourselves a brawl here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there's oh. ten rounds. This is only the third. Oh, I can't wait. Now wait a minute, guys. We started out saying what great shape they were both in. So, That's true. You know, I'm no, no excuse. They're going ten. Hey, listen, these are ten round fighters. Absolutely. I mean, we don't, we don't, they're on. going ten. You don't have to worry about that. They've now. been there before. But, but I'm telling you, every one of those punches had such bad intentions on them. It's amazing. You think they were friendlier. A heck of an or can't figure out that style. He's looking to land a right hand. No Creep, jabs from him. Step, 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 and then Tommy step. Brooks just told him in between rounds, you got to get that jab going. going. Good point, Tony. And uh, here we are, Nick Charles, Wally Matthews, Tony Danza, ringside and loving it. Hope you are, too. This is the contender final. Don't punch, don't it's all come down to this. Hunger, desire, and now talent. Top talent. I mean, I, I'm sure, I, I wonder if people really understand how much of an opportunity this is, you know, for a guy like these guys. It really is the difference between being somebody and never fulfilling your dreams. Oh, there's no doubt, because we're not, none of these guys no, no, no. are top ten right now. You know, not that, it's hard to get yourself noticed. You know, they don't have the big manager. They don't have the big promoter. So they just, you're the guy who, you're in the gym and you hear, hey, I need a middleweight. And you take the fight. You don't even know who it is. You take it. There it is. Yeah. Go punch step, 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 step. Rapid fire rounds as they click on here at Foxwoods. It's the contender finals. Round three is over. We're back with the fourth. Nice right hand. Back at Foxwoods, the contender finals. Wally, a question, any adjustments? How about adjustments? It's very early. What's, what well, can each guy do better? You know, What's listen, easier? I'm going to say something here, and I think Tony's probably going to strangle me, and I, I, <laughs> I agree with him on the intensity of, fight, of the fight, but I think stylistically, these guys really have not clashed yet. They haven't clicked. To me, you know, it's kind of an awkward-looking fight. A lot of uh, missed punches, a lot of this, what we're seeing right here. Neither guy has really been able to establish himself and, uh, you know, I think that Ross, I agree that Ross should be jabbing more, but he's not having a lot of success with that jab. And that's, you know, he's got to find a way to get that distance, and he hasn't yep. been able to do that. Yet. That's why it's such a tough fight to score, as you said, if they're not meshing. You know, you're scoring it at home. Well, don't get me wrong, Wally. I, I think the styles are making for a little bit of an awkward fight. Yeah. You can't, 
as far as effort is concerned. Oh, no, you can't, you uh -oh. can't argue with that. And now, uh, Ross connects to the right. Oh, oh big trouble here. Big trouble. Stop oh. Steve Smoker stops it. Uh, I don't know if he should stop it. You know what? Well, he can't believe it. Look at Hino. He can't believe it. I don't think he should stop it. You take another look at the replay. Right, he had kind of a blank look on You're his face. You're going to see the contender champion is Troy Ross suddenly in the fourth round. A big flurry. A right hand finished it. But a combination started it. And that's the punching power of Troy Ross that we were talking about from the beginning of the show. That uh, is the wild card here in this tournament. Oh, that to me separated him. I want to see a replay. Oh, was that huge? I bet you will. Two minutes. You know, there was a point, Tony, when he turned toward and the I, ropes. I to he see had it. kind of a dead look in his eyes, and I, I really can't blame Smoger. Oh, oh, I don't know. Hey, listen. I'd I'd rather never stop played. It early. That's right. No, yeah, really. I've been in there. I know. But but I just thought it. You know, it's such a long minutes, road Tommy. to this. You know, I just want to make sure. Yeah. But he, it's a it's a hard road. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, we're gonna yeah. see it now in the replay. See, there's a right hand. That's not it. You'll see it over here. Now, he, now this is not really the angle, but there it is. That punch right there, when he draped himself over the ropes there, yeah. Yeah. you're not yeah. really giving okay. the referee much uh, of a choice. He didn't give him much of a choice. You're right. Good call by Steve Smoger. Yeah, I take it back. I'm sorry. No, it's that's all right. Look, he's staying there. Yep. He's, yeah, not, he's, he's not. He's not doing he's, anything. And but he's, he's holding on to the rope. And not only that, he's basically turning his back to the opponent, yeah. which is kind of a surrender. That's it. So Good right game. on a button. Obviously, a crushing defeat. For Hino, but Troy Ross, Boy, it's ecstasy here. The Canadian Olympian has now won the fight of his professional life and at 33 years of age. Look at how even everything is. I mean, two point, two punches separate them, and the punch is thrown. Only 10 point, uh, punches, and the punch is landed. But it's those last five or so that Troy Ross landed are the ones that count. And I know everybody who's watched the contender this year knows that uh, right away when they saw John Bray in Troy's, uh, in Troy's corner, they were worried. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it worked out this time. Uh, John ends up winning the championship. And Troy Ross now with his 15th knockout and the biggest of his career. Man, is he on a roll. Three knockouts in the contender series for him. The biggest one saves it for last here. A fourth round KO of Hino Ahekama. Two minutes of the fourth round. Referee Steve Double S Moger stops the contest. We're winner by technical knockout and the brand new contender champion, Troy the Boss Ross. Troy Ross. The contender champion of the fourth season. Wow. It was busy. It was a red hot pace. Start to finish, a tough one to separate out until that dynamic, sudden ending that makes Troy Ross the contender champion. We'll be back to talk to him right after this. Stay with us. We're back at Foxwoods where a new contender champion reigns. His name is Troy Ross from Guyana, moved to Canada, two-time Olympian represented Canada. His pro career hot and cold until the contender. He caught fire, the power arrived and stayed there down the stretch, ending tonight in a fourth round explosion that gained him the title of champion, and he's with Wally Matthews now. All right, thank you, Nick. I'm here with Troy Ross, who's the uh, ultimate contender champion. Troy, congratulations. Thank you very much. It was, uh, Hino put on a great fight. I can't, uh, I have to take my hat off to him. He came out, he boxed smart, and uh, he stayed away. And um, tonight was just one of those nights I was ready. I was getting stronger after every single round, and I told my corner that. And uh, I just got into it in the last few rounds, and um, I felt really strong, I felt confident. And I, I knew at a point where I would just start outboxing him. But you know, um, Hino came in and he fought. He was in great condition. He was smart. He boxed well. And I have to take my hat off to him. You know, a lot of people think he came out of nowhere to win this thing. But, you know, three knockouts out of four fights, pretty good uh, percentage there. And it seemed as if early we were talking about it, the styles didn't really mesh. You guys were having trouble hitting each other. And then you suddenly found the range in the, in the last round. What kind of an adjustment did you make? Uh, pretty much the adjustment was um, instead of stepping back, step forward, step to him. I'm, 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 uh, 
I can't say I'm the bigger guy, but because uh, you know, you know, it was it was a war of the abs at, uh, <laughs> when we went in there. But um, you know what? With experience and everything, I just uh, went step to him. Uh, my corner, Egerton Marcus, Chris Amos, my, t my cousins who's been working with me for pretty much, and my father who's been giving me pointers from outside the ring. You know what? Uh, we knew exactly what we're going into, and we knew it was going to be an easy fight. It's just pretty much putting the punches together, stepping forward, and being confident. And there you see the end of the fight right there. You see the, the big right hand and then the left that finish it off. Did you think it was the right time to stop the fight? It's always the right time to stop it because you give, you give the man a chance to uh, recover, and um, next thing you know, it's, 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 it ends up worse. So it's always the right time to stop a fight when the referee is in there. And there, I, we pretty much have to look at the referee, and we hope that he makes the right decision. Because this sport, you don't want to have anybody hurt. And um, now Eno can walk out of the ring with all his, with all his faculties and live, live the fight another day. So um, like I said, I'm happy that he came in the ring, he fought me, he fought well, but at the end of the day, I end up being victorious and I praise the Lord for that. Couldn't agree more. I'm gonna step out now. Speaking of what, look what I have for you, my friend. Here Woo! it is. The contender championship. Congratulations, Troy. Thank you great, very much, Tony. You were a, uh, let me tell you, you were, you, get, you, put, you were a great example for everybody who worked hard. You showed determination, and then your punching power has won the day. So I, uh, my hat is off to you, and congratulations, champ. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tony. <laughs> and you're Tony, sweet, you were a great, a great host and um, a great friend through all this. You gave us great stories, and uh, we always, I think everyone, looked up to you in, in this contender. Right, and I'll uh, thank you, you very much right, for being you, a great host. Coming from you, that means a lot. Yes. Thanks. I loved all the guys. I mean, the only thing that broke my heart is anybody had to lose. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. exactly. But congratulations. You're a thank great you. champion. Thank you again. Going right. back to Wally. Troy, let me second what Tony said. Congratulations. Great show tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, we're going to bring in Hino now and yeah, see what he has yeah. to say. I would like to thank all, all everyone that came out and everyone that support, support the contender. It's a great show. It shows the lives of every individual boxer, and it's, uh, it's brought light to the sport. And thank you very much for being a great audience and supporting us, boxers. All right, thank you, Troy Royce. Thank, thank you, you Troy Ann. Bye, Troy Ann. Uh, let's bring Hino in real in, quick. Hino. Hello, everybody. Come on, come on, let's hear it, let's hear it. You know, you know, look, we, we know it was a tough defeat for you here tonight. You don't but And you seem to be disappointed with the stoppage. I'm, I'm very disappointed. Could you have gone on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No lie. I could have definitely, definitely gone on. First of all, I want to thank everybody that came out to support me tonight. Everybody that's been watching the show from the from the beginning. Everybody in Left Rack City, Queens, East Elmhurst, Queens, Nigeria, West Africa. Emo, Kenneth, OJ. Those are my brothers, baby. But um, I tried my best tonight, you know. I was trying to tell you the truth, the game plan was to take him deep and drown him in the waters, you know. I, I wasn't hurt, if that's what everybody wants to know. I definitely wasn't hurt. Did you think so your mom, game plan, was your game plan working up to the point where you got caught? Yes, yes, it was definitely working, you know, you know, um, side to side, as we, as we did in the, in the camp. Um, what else? Just, just stepping, trying to confuse him when he throws, you know, throw a couple of punches. The one thing they said not to do in, tra in training camp, that's what I did next. It cost me, don't that's not go to the ropes. There you he go. Can land. Listen, you made a lot of fans, obviously, a lot of friends here tonight. You know, so we congratulate you very much. First, I want to thank two people. I want to thank KO and Old School, my boy Giovanni, Left Rock City, Queens. Everybody, man, that's helped me throughout my career. And we thank you, Nick Charles. Back to you at ringside. Uh, what a pleasure to hear that kind of a guy go out on the short end, sound like a winner. But there is the ultimate champion in this contender fourth series. He's Troy Ross. Back with more right after this from Fox Sports.